Hey everyone, I am back with another video because I told you I was gonna do that because <laughs> I went shopping and I got more stuff. And this time it's fine art stuff. Now my store has not done the um, sketchbooks and the paints and the you know metal rulers and the, the memo boards and all that stuff. They haven't done that yet. Um, I just went this afternoon around 1.30 and they haven't done it yet. Today's the 3rd of July. So I'm thinking maybe they'll do it maybe tonight. I don't know, they were really, really busy today. So maybe not till tomorrow. So I'll keep checking and hope I don't miss what I'm looking for. But in the meantime, let me show you what I found. I found a couple of miscellaneous things for 90% off. I got, now back when they were doing this clearance in what, February, I think I picked up some wax stuff, some wax seals and you know, some of the handles and some of the wax bits and things like that. And I thought a second handle would actually be a good idea. So I got a second handle um, for $1.49. I wish I had waited and I would have got them both for $1.49, but that's okay. Happy to have that. Then I found this for $1.24. I just thought this was really, really pretty. This like lace ribbon with like flowers on it. You could cut this up and use them individually or just in small sections. You could dye it, color it with markers, whatever. I just thought it was really pretty and I really liked it. So got that. Then I found these jewelry wipes and they're dry, which I really like because you know, the other ones get kind of slimy and gross or they dry out and then they're no good, but these are already dry. So thank you. So I got a couple of these. They had two and I bought both of them because I have some sterling silver jewelry that tends to tarnish and things like that. So I just thought that was a really good deal and a surprise find. You never know what you're gonna find in the clearance section of Hobby Lobby, you really don't. And then I found these really pretty earrings for $2.99. I just thought they were really nice. And these as well. I thought these are really pretty. Now this one looks a little bit misshapen, but I could probably fix that. And even so, even if I can't, uh, who's really gonna actually notice that? Probably not too many people. So a couple, couple of those I got that. And then I actually found a die. I was shocked because my store hasn't had any dies for quite a while, so I don't know what happened here, but marked down to 479. And it's the shaker die, the Marion Bright shaker die. I was happy to find that. And this, I saw this in somebody else's video and I was so hoping to find one. And I did. Look at the birds are so cute. Oh, I love it. I love it. And they're like not, um, it's called a pigment transfer. It's like a rub on. And then you just remove it with a hair dryer and tape. So I just thought that was really awesome. It actually looks more hand painted on your wall. I loved this and I was so excited to find it. My daughter thinks I'm weird. She's like, what? okay. Hey, listen, I was psyched. So I found that. And then the other thing I was so excited to found, look, look, oh my gosh, come on. How can you not be, how can you not smile when you see this? Look at this face. It's so cute. I was hoping to find this too. And it was in, you know, the home decor clearance and I got super lucky and I found it and it wasn't destroyed. So cute. Love it. So between the birds and the star, love it. So happy. I also found some diamond dots, um, which they were all actually nine, 19 cents. And I have got so many diamond dots because my daughter actually, I told you in the last video that she's going to be, she wants to start jewelry making. Well, before that she was diamond painting. So we have diamond dots coming out of our eyeballs and it's crazy. But so we probably already have all these colors, but 19 cents, I figured, you know what, if I don't have them, great. If I do, well, then they're good to give to somebody else who needs them. And then on along those same lines, I also found a book for 99 cents. A little diamond dot book. See that? Diamond painting flowers, that's pretty cool. Gives you step-by-step -step instructions, 
even patterns in there. Pretty sweet. So I got that. And also along the home decor, um, I found these that I want to put in a, a bowl in my living room, and they were two forty nine each, and they're just they're they're large, they're big, and they're probably styrofoam or something, and they're just wrapped in twine. But I really liked them, and I had seen them and walked by them, I don't know, seven or eight times already in the in the times I've been to the store, and I decided, you know what, they're still here, they're meant for me to buy them, so I did. Now, the fine art stuff. Um, this, and I don't think she watches my video because I don't think really she knows I have one, which is good. Um, this is for my son's girlfriend. She likes to color. And I found this, and I thought this would be really, really nice. And it's just kind of, you know, kind of got some nice little quotes. And she likes to color the, the bigger spaces rather than like the small, like little mandala kind of things. So I thought that was good. So got that for her. I think that's really nice. Um, this was something I was looking for. I was hoping to find, and I did, because I always like having white pens in my stash. And where these are India ink, I think that's going to be really great. So I found those for $3.24. And then I found this lettering set. Um, a friend of mine has indicated an interest in starting to try to do some lettering. So I picked these up for her, um, thinking these might be a good place for her to start. These are mild liner and they are colored brush pens. $34.99 down to $7.49. You cannot beat that. And then also these, because these are a little bit different. These are, I think these are hard tip. I think, uh, oh no, it's a flexible brush tip, but I think it's just a smaller tip. I'm not quite sure. So whatever, whatever um, she thinks will work better. So these are the neon ones and these were 249 and these were the rainbow primary color ones and they were 399. So some lettering markers. Also got these spray bottles for 62 cents. And again, I said this in the last video, Hobby Lobbies are weird. My Hobby Lobby, this was this was at my Hobby Lobby that's further away from me that I don't go to as much. Um, I only have seven Hobby Lobbies in like my entire state. So I don't have a whole lot of Hobby Lobbies to choose from. But, so the one further away had these on clearance for 62 cents. Mine doesn't have them on clearance. Like they're just sitting there like, hi, here I am. I, I don't get it. And same with some of these brushes. These were not on clearance in my store, but yet I'm seeing them in people's halls. They were in, on clearance in another store I went to. I don't understand. I, I, I don't get it. But at any rate, I got these spray bottles because even if I can't use them in my crafting, we can use them for um, misting things for cooking on the grill or putting, you know, whatever. So I figured those would come in handy at some point. Now, oh, the brushes. So, a lot of these are Christmas gifts. And thankfully, nobody watches my channel. So, <laughs> it's not enough to worry about anybody seeing this. But, <clears throat> I got these here. Most of these are all-purpose because the people that I'm buying for do uh, mostly watercolor, but some acrylic. So, I figured all-purpose brushes would be good. So, I got these. And these were $1.99. Nice variety of brushes there. And then these, I'll give you the numbers in case you guys want to see. $1.74. And again, some nice variety of brushes there. All purpose. Really good. And then along those, we've got these fine touch ones. And these are more rounded and there's like big chunky ones in here and then some smaller ones. So that is the number for those. Cool. And then, are these, did I already do these? Yep, I already did those. Okay, so I got two of those. And then this one, I don't think I already did this one. Nope. So this one here. 
$1.99, down from $7.99. Ooh, I love it when I just zoom way out, don't I? There's like a fan brush in here, some flats. So they have all, and on the back, this is not what's in each package, it just kind of describes each brush and tells you what it's used for. So I think that's really amazing too. Um, very helpful. Um, let's see, what else have we got? We've got this one here, which has a nice variety again in there. Some of these may be dupes. I'm sorry if I'm showing you doubles. I just can't keep up with my own stuff. Okay, and this one here. And that's the brushes there. They had so many different kinds of brushes, and, and yet I still missed quite a bit. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm very pleased with what I got, and I, I don't think there's anything that I... The, the only one, the only one that I wish, and I'm not even sure if it was on clearance, the only one I wish I would have been able to get, there was a fine detail, because I could use that one, a fine detail brush set. It had like a set of maybe six, something like that, of really 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 tiny brushes they do have it at my hobby lobby but it does not have an orange sticker on it it is not on clearance so i don't know i, I want to say i saw it in somebody else's video so I, I feel like it should be on clearance but it's not in my store so there's that and then these are also all purpose they're just a different color different brand whatever different material I don't know, different material maybe? I'm not sure. And then these here. So look at the super, super long one right there. Look at those. Super, super long. So those have some more brushes there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I found these silicone brushes. And at first I'm like, what? What do you do with these? But then somebody was saying you can use these to like push the paint or or like if you make a mistake, you can sort of push it around to kind of erase it in a way and you can also use it for blending. So I'm like, well, maybe, you know, maybe the people that I'm buying this stuff for, maybe they could use that. So give it a shot. And then speaking of erase, there you go, brush and paint eraser kit. And it's got one of these like little rubbery things. And that was only $1.49. And then I got this kneaded eraser set. So there's two of them in there. There's one with a case and one without. I mean, for 49 cents, absolutely play with that and figure out how best to use that. And then this brush set here, acrylic and watercolor, perfect. Lots of brushes to choose from. The people that I'm buying stuff for are set because I also bought brushes when they did the, the fine art brushes, you know, the ones that they sell individually. Um, a couple months ago, I bought some of those for, for my friends and, and my mom. My mom is one of the, one of the people that is going to be included in this. So, and then I got these, these are small, which is nice. But these aren't the little tiny, tiny ones that I was talking about. But these these will work. These, you know, these will work. So that's good. And then I got both of these. But I don't, I'm looking at them and I don't really think I need both of them. So I'm probably going to take one back. I mean, they're both aqua pens, water brush pens. Um, and they both have small, medium, and large brush sizes. The only difference is this one also has a flat in it. Um, I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I need both. I'm pretty sure my mom who does watercoloring, I'm pretty sure she has water brush pens already. So I don't think I need to worry about that. But at any rate, and then I got these two <clears throat> brushes. One is angled, as you can see, and one is not. And these are for $2.49 each, down from $9.99. Just a simple little one and a half inch brush. Good for so many different things. I have some projects that I want to alter, so these are going to come in handy with that. And then I got this sealable paint palette. 
for four forty nine. So it's like a travel case for your paint. See, it's got the the wells here. Um, yeah. And it says it's a three piece set, so I'm not sure. And I'd open it except it's gonna be a well. I can see maybe this is a separate tray. I'm not sure, but it's gonna be a gift, so I don't really want to open it. But um, yeah, I thought this would be good so that you know for painting on the go, or if you are in the middle of a project and you have to stop, this might be a good way to do it too, where you can just kind of seal it and come back to it later. So that is, oh, except for one thing. I don't know if you guys know or if you care or if you're interested or whatever, but um, Hobby Lobby has their oven baked polymer clay. These little guys, they're on sale for 77 cents each through July 8th. And here's another example of prices. See, be careful. This one is $1.49. This one is $1.59. So I found that on the wax seals too, like the little wax pellets. Some of them still say whatever it is, $3.99 for the sticks. And then if you look, you know, there's also some that say $4.99 or $5.99. I don't remember which. But there's, you know, just that's one tip I can tell you for Hobby Lobby is always look at the prices of the items on the peg for whatever you're going to buy because you might find it cheaper because they do, you know, they rotate their new stock in with their old stock. So obviously this one came in, and it's newer, and they raised the price by a dime. So if you can get it at $1.49, do that instead of $1.59. But again, these are $0.77 cents through July 8th. So if anybody's interested in the clay, my son had kind of expressed an interest in maybe trying to do something with them. So with it, so I picked up some of those. Um, I'm still looking for some, though. i got to go find some more. Like I don't have any yellow or orange. i got to see if I can find some. So I'm not sure where I'm going to look, but we'll figure it out. So that's that. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're all finding some good stuff at your Hobby Lobbies. Um, I honestly don't understand the logic behind this. I don't know why they put all this stuff on clearance. I don't know. I, I don't get it. I really don't, but I'm happy to take advantage of it. <laughs> Sometimes I take too much advantage of it. I think we all do at times. You know, you buy a little bit more than you need. Oh, but it's on sale. And oh, what if I want to do this in the future? I'm learning to curb that because that's a bad habit, bad habit. So thank you all for watching. And I'm going to leave you with my little guy. He's so cute. Can't even stand it. How? Oh, you know, you just look at him and you're going to have a good day. You know, he's going to brighten your mood just a little bit. So cute. So anybody, anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my crazy videos. And I hope you're all finding some good stuff at your Hobby Lobbies. And uh, if I catch the sketchbooks and things like that or whatever it is that I'm looking for in that section, maybe I'll come back and do another video because I didn't do any for the previous stuff that I did because I was just, like I said, I, I, you know, I've had so much going on and I just couldn't get myself to do any videos. So, I mean, all the stuff that I bought is, is you know, it was definitely haul worthy, but uh, I couldn't do it. So. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching and I hope everybody is having a great day. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.